In this video I will demonstrate to you how to download E-Class uh, product related XML files from Siemens Industry Support Portal. The first step is to open Industry Support Siemens Industry Support Portal on your browser and then it's important to log in using your account. The next step now is to uh, from the My Support Cookpit you have to select CAX downloads and now from the CAX download manager environment we can create a new download file from here and then click add or load product numbers so here you have to add the product number of, the, of your module like this and then click OK now it is found on the database so we have to select it and then click continue here you have all the data types of documentations related to this product like ePlan macros, wiring diagrams, 3D models, everything but we are interested in the uh, E-Class files so from here export product master data we have to select it and then from the drop down list we have to select E-Class 9.1 PME CAT like this and then click continue here you have uh, to select the preferred language for your uh, technical data file or the E-class file. I'm interested in both languages so I will select both of them and then click continue. Now you need to give the file uh, a name so we will call it for example the Q module and then click create CEX download now the download uh, file is getting uh, generated we have to wait for a couple of minutes until it's uh, it's being done and you can read from here the status of your file and also um, once this uh, file is created uh, Siemens um, industry support portal will send you an email on your account to tell you that the file is uh, done and you can uh, now download it so we will wait for a couple of minutes until it's uh, ready to be downloaded and now as you see here uh, from the status uh, the generation of the E-class file is done and now we are able to download it from here just click on download and then as you see here it's being downloaded and then we can easily get it from the download folder and use it in automation designer thank you hello everyone uh, in the previous video we showed you how to uh, download the E-Class product related file from the manufacturer website and we took Siemens uh, website as an example and we downloaded an E-Class file for, for the digital output module and now in this video we will show you how to use this E-Class to create the product in, uh, in NX. The first step is to uh, do the mapping and mapping it the configuration of NX to uh, tell it how to map the product uh, particular properties to the imported E-Class file from the manufacturer website and to do this we have to go to the uh, library operations <coughs> and then click E-Class mapping here we have two options uh, or two different ways to do the mapping whether to use the uh, schema which is a default mapping created by E-Class itself you can download it from the E-Class website uh, or you can use a uh, user defined mapping that you, you have to do it and then save it and then you can import it again later on you can do modifications to it and then import it from this button uh, in our case we will use the uh, schema which is a default one we'll click on import schema and then we have to do to give the uh, directory as previously mentioned before we are uh, working on working with uh, E-Class version 9.1 advanced so we downloaded this one 
and we will select number 27 and number 27 means this is the categorization of the product uh, and you can find here in the eclass content website all the different all the different categorization of uh, different uh, products uh, in our case we are working on uh, electrical engineering automation process control engineering so we will use the number 27 so here we are selecting number 27 and then click OK because we are already uh, imported this schema before so it's asking us to override it or not so simply we'll click no because already we already have it and here you can check it this is the mapping of eclass 9.1 that we downloaded from the eclass website now we are done from this step and we will move to the next step we'll cl close the uh, eclass environment and then we will go to the project environment to create the eclass uh, the product out of the eclass file to do this we will go to the library operations and click import eclass product we will give the directory again we already downloaded very uh, several uh, eclass files for several products so we uh, will create the uh, digital output module and here we can select the language for example we'll take the English and then click OK and this is the final report of the uh, pro uh, product creation here you can check the status and the description of the uh, of this process and then here you can see the product is created successfully if there is any uh, problem occurred it will be shown here as well so now we can check this product in the reuse library uh, we created a digital output module so we have to go to the electric uh, processing and then the uh, electrical, proce electrical signals uh, category in the reuse library to check it if we created for example optical product so we have to go here in the KG or the optical and acoustical signal category so in our case we will go to the electrical signals category we created the digital output module which is this one this one here you can see all the different information of this prod product is already entered automatically to the uh, product in, in an annex and there's one thing we have to mention that only type of hardware object is not entered with the E-class so you have to do it manually and this is very important so to do this we have to uh, do a right click on the product itself and select edit classified part and here you have to enter it manually we will select PLC module and then click OK and now we are done Thank you.